Okay, so we will be completing together lesson one problem set. It will say K6 in the top right corner. So please make sure you have this in front of you with a pencil and your ruler or your composition book that will also let you make straight lines with a composition book. So we will go through this together. Okay, so the first problem, we are going to be making a triangle. The second problem, we will be making a square. And the third problem, we will be making our own triangles, different triangles. Okay, so let's start up with our first problem is our triangle. Remind me, how many sides does a triangle have? Three sides, and how many corners does a triangle have? Three, great. So a triangle is any shape with three sides. Do our sides all need to be the same length on a triangle? No, they do not. The sides can be of different lengths, but it just needs to have three sides all together. Okay, so listen to these directions, and then you will complete this on your page. All right, the directions say, first, draw the missing line to finish the triangle using a ruler. Second, color the corners red. Third, draw another triangle. So I um, heard three different directions in that paragraph. The first thing it wants us to do, first, draw the missing line to finish the triangle using a ruler. Okay, so grab your pencil. Grab a ruler if you have one, or your composition book. How you will do it with your composition book is line it up from the top part of our triangle right here to the bottom part of the triangle right here. We need to fill in the rest of the triangle. They want us to finish the triangle. So what we are going to do is draw a line from the top to the bottom of our triangle. Go ahead and complete that. Finish the triangle from the top of the triangle down to the bottom of our triangle. Great job, guys. So we just completed our triangle. Let's count how many sides our triangle has. One, two, three sides. We have a triangle with three sides here. I know that this is a triangle because it has how many sides? Three sides. Great job. Okay, our second direction. Color the corners red. You can color it with your pencil you have. You can shade it in just with your pencil, but it wants us to color in. I'm going to use the blue I have here. Color in the corners like this red. So all of the corners you're just going to color in. I will be using blue. You can use your pencil. You will shade in the corners of your triangle. Go ahead and complete that with me. Great job, guys. There we go. So I have three corners colored in. One, two, three. So a triangle has three sides and three corners. All right, our last direction, third, draw another triangle. So right next to your triangle, please draw another triangle. Remember to draw another triangle. It's any shape with three sides. The sides do not need to be the same length. It just needs to be a shape with three sides. So I'm going to draw my triangle like this. One side, two side, and I will connect my two sides. I have one side, I have two side, and I have three sides. So this is a triangle because I have three sides to my triangle. So go ahead, pause this video, and create a triangle next to ours we finished right here. Great job, guys. So your triangle will be any shape that just has three sides, one, two, three, and it will also have three corners, one, two, three. Great job, guys. So we just completed creating a triangle. Triangle is any of our shapes with three sides. Great job. Let's go on down to our next Problem. All right, our middle one, we are going to create a square. So I will read the directions and then we will complete it together. First, use your ruler to draw two lines to make the square. Second, color the corners red. Third, draw another square. So I know a square is any shape with 
four sides. All of my sides need to be the same length. So it's asking me to draw two lines to make a square. So let's go ahead and do that together. You will do it on your problem set while I do it on the board. So we need to make sure that these lines are the same length. So I'm going to make two lines, one up top, and I will connect it back down to the bottom of my square. So I made one line and two lines to make a square. So I need to make sure I have four sides to my square. One, two, three, four sides on my square. Does your square look like this one? Great job. You, will, you made two lines to finish our square and we have four sides. Hmm, if we have four sides, how many corners do we have in our square? Four. Great job. Our next direction was to color the corners red. So I'm going to color all of my corners in blue because I have blue here. So we're going to shade these in blue. You can use your pencil to color in the corners red. Or, sorry, to color in the corners with your shade of your pencil. So we will count as we are shading in our corners. One, two, three, and four. I have four sides on my square, and I have four corners on my square. So great job. A square is any shape with four sides that are the same length and four corners. For second direction, color the corners red, we completed that, great job. Third, draw another square. So go ahead, pause this video, create another square. Remember, it needs to be, it will be a shape that has four sides of the same length and four corners. Go ahead, pause that video, and then I will come back and I will show you a square that I created. All right, great job, guys. So we need to, I need to complete a square. All right, so I know a square is a shape with four sides of equal length. So I'm going to do one side, two side, three side, and four side. So I have four sides of equal length. Let's go ahead and count my sides to make sure we have four sides. One, two, three, four. So I know that this is a square. Great job, guys. Let's go down to our last problem. All right, I'm going to read the directions and then we will complete this together. First, draw a triangle using your ruler. Second, draw a triangle using your ruler, a different triangle using your ruler. Third, show your picture to your partner. Okay, so the first problem, we need to draw a triangle using your ruler or the straight edge of your composition book. So you will use the side of your composition book to draw your straight lines for your triangle. So go ahead and draw two triangles that are different. Remember, they can be the same, but they can also be different. So we want to make two triangles that are different. Go ahead and create your two triangles and we will come back and we'll do, and I will show you two triangles that are different. Great job, guys. Okay, so I'm going to start with my first triangle. I know I just need to make sure I have three sides on my triangle. So I have one, two, I will connect these two sides to get my third side. I have one, two, three sides on my triangle. So I know that this is a triangle because it has three sides. All right, I know I need another triangle that is different than this triangle. So I'm gonna have one, two, three sides on this triangle. One, two, three. So these are both triangles because they both have three sides, but they are different. This triangle has two sides that are the same length one side that is longer. These triangles have two sides that are the same and this side is longer. So these are two different triangles. 
but they are both triangles. Great job, guys. So we reviewed what makes up a square, a triangle, a circle, and a hexagon. And then today we created our triangles and our squares. Great job today, guys. Please complete lesson two problem set, working more on drawing triangles and squares. I will see you tomorrow for our next lesson. Have a great day.